Behind this door is 39-year-old SS General Otto Ohlendorf. He became a member of the Nazi party in 1925 and spent much of the war on the Eastern Front, commanding an assassination squad designated Einsatzgruppe D. Would you like any coffee or tea, sir? No, thank you. I'm fine. Okay, just knock when you're done. General Orlandorf, I'm Dr. Smith. I'm a medical doctor and psychiatrist with the International Red Cross. I'm here to see about your health needs and talk to you about your life and career from a psychiatric point of view. Hi. Uh, so you can get more incriminating evidence against me for this kangaroo cult? No, I'm not here for the prosecution. My function is to tend to the medical and psychiatric needs of the defendant, not to accuse or judge. What do you want? Do you mind if I sit down? Please, sit. Thank you. What's your educational background, Otto? Initially, I went to school for 12 years, but I didn't graduate because of my political activities. Later, I studied economics and law at the University of Leipzig. When did you join the Nazi party? In 1925, I was 18. Did you meet Hitler in 1925? No. Did you discuss anti-Semitism at that time? I discussed a number of political views. Anti-Semitism was one of them, yeah. You recall when you first started having anti-Semitic feelings? Yeah, I was still in school. I joined the German United People's Party. They were anti-Semitic. Were their anti-Semitic views the same as Hitler's? No. I don't know. I can't say. Well, did they advocate the extermination of all Jews. No, of course not. This, even Hitler did not pursue this policy until 1941. This is when he issued his orders for the final solution. And you were okay with these orders? No, I did not even know of these orders at this time. I learned about them here. I sincerely doubt that Hitler would have gotten any support from the German people on this policy. This is why they kept it a secret so far. Do you think Hitler liked people? Oh. Oh, yeah. How could Hitler, like people, yet order the murder of millions of Jews? Well, this was his big mistake, yeah? It's the reason we're here. What made you think that Hitler liked people? Because he did such wonderful things for the German people prior to the war. Well, it's hard to imagine Hitler as a humanitarian, considering he ordered men, women, and children killed. People who were no threat to him. His only crime wasn't being Jewish. Wouldn't you agree? I can't answer this question. I don't know why he did this. Well, I still find it difficult to think that Hitler liked people while having others murdered. He did this for the German people. He didn't think of it end up this way. It was Steiger. And Goebbels, who came up with this final solution, they were the ones who kept telling the German people that the Jew was the enemy. But how could you think it was okay to kill a Jewish baby? Was this your enemy? They told us that the Jew was subhuman. I had a different view. Oh? How so? Well... At first, I could never have conceived a policy calling for the extermination of all the Jews in Europe. I thought maybe they have their own homeland with some minorities in the other countries, but after Goebbels took action in 1938, came the plan to exclude the Jews from economic life, later life itself. What all did you testify to in court? I told them how the Eidsatz group received orders to round up and liquidate the Jews in Russia. How many people did your group kill? 90,000 was reported, but I think it's more like 60 or 70,000. Did you think that what you were doing was the right thing to do? Well, I didn't do this myself. 
But you supervised it, didn't you? Yeah, but it's, it's my orders. I thought maybe if I'm there, I could stop this inhumane treatment. Would you do such a thing again I if ordered? I really didn't do anything. Would you organize and direct such an activity again? This is not a fair question. I suffered for years with these nightmares, these doubts. Lots of people had to follow orders they did not like. But when the orders come from Heydrich, you have no choice but to obey. How were the mass executions carried out? We would round up the Jews using some innocuous pretext. Once we had them in custody, we would transport them to the trenches and carry out the executions by firing squad. After they were shot, what happened to their bodies? We buried them in the ditches where they were shot. So if any of them survived the firing squad, they were buried alive? Oh, no, of course not. The firing squad commander would locate any survivors and he would shoot them in the head before commencing the burial. We are not barbarians, you know. We do not burn or bury these people alive. Did you have any sadists on your firing squad? No. Any of them enjoying the work? No, of course not. These were soldiers. They were ordered to do this. They were not volunteers. They were ordered to do this, so they did this. This whole insane plan came from Himmler and Heydrich. Why am I to be blamed? I did nothing. But isn't it correct you were promoted to Lieutenant General after these murders? Yeah. So what? So you weren't upset enough to let it damage your career? I already told you I was very upset, but I'm not going to let it get in the way of my efficiency, no. Did you ever consider the prospect of your own wife and children being murdered? Yeah. This was my first thought. Anyway, I was not in a position to stop this. No one was. If I'd gotten sick or if I ran away, I couldn't have changed anything. Thought by beings, I could stop the inhuman treatment. In your mind, who's responsible for these murders? Well, obviously Himmler, Hitler, mainly. What kind of relationship did you have with your father? Not very good, first. But towards the latter part, it's got better. My political beliefs were in conflict with his. As a young man, he was liberal. He was anti-Nazi. What about your mother? My mother. She's still alive. She's in good health. 72. She would probably outlive me. Who are you most like? Your mother or father? My father, I think. At least in scientific information. Would you believe I wanted to be a teacher? Mm. I wanted to teach philosophy. Sociology, economics. When is this? How did I end up here? I don't know, Otto. I don't understand how a man like you can do the things that you did. Let me know if you want to see your mother and I'll try to arrange it. We'll talk again soon. Otto Ollendorf was found guilty of crimes against humanity and was hung on June the 8th, 1951. He was 44 years old.